Hi there, welcome to the second video on four principles of simple design. Let's look at a couple of examples. What you're looking at right now is a class called student helper. We are looking at a method called is grade B. So basically I have the business requirement written in here. You get grade B if your marks are between 51 and 80, except for maths where the upper limit is increased by 10. And this is the implementation which is provided as of now. So what it does is it uses the conditional operator and use its maths marks greater than 51 and uh, marks less than 90 so if it's max it's checking for marks less than equal to 90 and uh, else it checks for marks less than equal to 80. i mean when you look at it for the first time it looks to be a relatively simple good implementation but uh, let's say if this requirement was not there let's say i don't have the requirement probably a lot of people would be wondering what is 51 what is 90 is there any relationship between 90 and 80? And that's basically what clear code is all about. Let's see, uh, the good thing that we have is that I have a set of J units already there for this particular method. So if I run the J unit tests, they're passing. So I have a test bed already present for this method. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and now try to write this method in a clear way. Okay. One of the first things is actually uh, to realize the fact that this is actually 80 plus 10 because this is for maths the upper limit is increased by 10 so this is actually the upper limit and extra for maths is 10 so let's start with extracting proper constants i think that's one of the things which we can do to get started uh, i'm using the eclipse shortcut keys extract constant uh, this 80 actually is the lower limit for grade B, right? So let's ensure that Low, lower limit for grade B, and uh, this 10 is actually like okay. The other thing is this 80 actually can be put in here as well. So now that's one step good. Uh, the other thing is this max is equal to 51. This is the lower limit for grade B, right? So is the lower limit for grade B. I should rename the other one actually. I should rename the other one to actually it's upper limit. It's upper limit grade B. And this is actually the extra limit. So if you look at this 10, okay, let me just try and highlight this 10. Okay. Uh, if I extract constant out of this, uh, it should be uh, extra needed for maths. Or I could put extra upper limit. Upper limit for maths. And if you look at this, there's a duplication also in present in here. The max greater than 51 is actually being duplicated twice. Let's see if we can eliminate that. And also the entire logic of checking for uh, marks greater than equal to 51 and marks less than something, that's also repeated twice. So let's, we'll get to that. Uh, let me extract this constant as well, extract constant. And this is actually lower limit grade B. So let's name it appropriately. And there you go, I have the upper limit, lower limit. Okay, the one thing I can see from here is that the variable, uh, the thing which is changing is the lower limit. So, sorry, the upper limit. Okay, so I'll see if I can take the upper limit out to a variable. So I'll say upper limit for grade B. Uh, it's not really needed because the method itself is grade B. So it's upper limit is for grade B. So upper limit is equal to, uh, that's decided by maths, right? Few people don't like the conditional operator, but for me, if the condition is simple, then I would actually go ahead and use the conditional operator. So the upper limit for maths, if it's maths, then the upper limit is this. Otherwise, the upper limit is just grade B, right? So that's basically the upper limit condition. And now I can change this condition actually to is it marked greater than lower limit 
and is the marks less than upper limit. So now what we have done is actually in the previous condition, the thing which was changing was the upper limit. So instead of repeating uh, the condition for upper limit twice, what we have done is actually took upper limit into a variable and tried to represent it this way. So if you look at it, if you look at this implementation for this particular method right now, the E squared D method, this is very simple and anybody who can come and look at this method, let's say even if this is not pleasant, he would see the upper limit is varying. So the upper limit, if it's max, the upper limit is actually having an extra upper limit, that's 10 marks and uh, otherwise the upper limit is uh, 80. So for match the upper limit is 90 otherwise the upper limit is 80 and uh, then you are if grade it's grade B when it's between the lower limit and the upper limit. This is what we mean by clarity. If you looked at the earlier implementation probably you'd not be able to understand the different business concepts which are involved. Clarity has all to do with implementing the business concepts. Also you would have seen that we have eliminated a bit of duplication as well. So that's there you go. That's your first example. Let's just go to this, this student helper test and run the JUnit test to make sure that we have not broken anything. That's good. So there you go. That's your first example on uh, four principles of simple design. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.